Uh, before the main topic of this talk, I'd like to talk about uh, an apparently related topic about my costume. So, how about my costume? Okay. So, uh, do you know what this is? So, it's a kimono. Uh, the Japanese traditional uh, costume. Uh, so, uh, I like kimono very much because it's like program. So, <laughs> kimono uh, has uh, several characteristics that are seen as good ones in programming. For example, it's simple uh, in its construction. It uh, it consists only of rectangular fabrics. Accommodation of rectangular fabrics without any ergonomic comp at this point. So, uh, due to this simple construction, it's reusable and portable. <laughs> um, if, uh, so, by decomposite and fold each fabric and composite it again for your children. And uh, or, uh, you can share this plot uh, with other person. Uh, similar uh, of similar size of your body, or uh, in this sense, kimono is a kind of domain specific but generic framework. <laughs> but in the, in this this means that you need to learn uh, knowledge and techniques to uh, dress in kimono. <laughs> uh, this is very similar to that. <laughs> and importantly, uh, kimono is interoperable with uh, continental styles. Uh, for example, today I'm wearing a sweater under this kimono. So this uh, we, we can really combine with combine with kimono, uh, combine with kimono and any other kinds of clothes. So uh, this interoperability, uh, this is just my opinion, but I think this interoperability uh, would play some role of, uh, to, uh, to facilitate the acceptance of computer storage. I think so. But anyway, so today's topic is about interoperability uh, between language and other. Uh, SMA sharp is a functional programming language, uh, a full scale statistical functional programming language, uh, which is derived from standard the definition of standard and we published in uh, 1997 uh, by Robin Hill and others. Uh, standard and is uh, some kind of origin of that kind of function of the language with, with, with polymorphic types and type inference. Uh, standard standard sharp is an extension of it. Uh, so please note that the, so I guess that so some of you think so regard standard sharp as a kind of language you know, a dot net family because of this sharp shape. But um, <laughs> But it, uh, this is not, SM sharp is not a farming of the dotnet framework. But, but this sharp of SM sharp does not come from dotnet. But sharp, we call it sharp, sharp is a regular field selector of standard MM. So uh, actually, your language is original language uh, that obtains its, its, its name, that uh, obtains sharp symbols to its name. So uh, this SM sharp is originally named in 1993, which is much uh, earlier than the uh, yeah, Shisham. But anyway, so SM uh, sharp uh, is not a William Press language, but, uh, uh, but has a native course compiled, uh, which which compiles the essential programs into uh, M64 code by using LLVM as its package. And uh, this language developed from scratch in Japan as a um, part of the national research project, uh, namely the society in uh, 2003. So, uh, thanks to the attention of the committee members and perhaps. Uh, our continuous uh, development work uh, of about 
and 20 years, <laughs> the same shape is known in, well, in my opinion, but <laughs> the same shape is known in function to a community at least. And uh, currently, the repository of the same shape is also in GitHub, so that uh, you can join uh, the development of this language. So, uh, the next slide is the evidence of the popularity of the shop. So, this is the uh, uh, screenshot of the ICFP submission form. So, so, in this form, because this is new submission form, in this, in this form, there's a topic list, and we are here in the topic list. <laughs> so, this means that you can submit a paper to ICFP with selecting the same shot as one of your. <laughs> I, but, but unfortunately, the uh, submission deadline has passed. So <laughs> I hope that uh, the next year in ICFP and uh, we'll keep the, same, the name of the same shop in that topic. But uh, the next slide is our uh, GitHub page. Uh, this is the, the official site for this essential project. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> this is hosted in GitHub, so I, we, we are very welcome uh, of your issues and comments on the YouTube videos. So unfortunately, I made it vision out, so I apologize for today, because I'll be back soon. <laughs> but it, so, uh, we are developing a new language of the standard and family. And th this means that we have now uh, our own uh, objective to develop a new language. So my our goal of is so our goal of this is that uh, to, uh, it is to make a sta make standard language be a practical language. Uh, the term practical means uh, the point. So uh, uh, so yeah, uh, we're uh, interested in standard language. You know, we're professionals of standard language. Uh, we are developing uh, uh, standard and compiler, so uh, uh, we believe that this seven shop is a great language. So in this in, in this in this sense, this seven shop is already a practical language. Uh, it's very productive because of its diverted uh, description of programming, and it's safe uh, due to the type system and type summits. Uh, in this sense, it reflects. Say that the same shop is already a practical language, but however, uh, the practicalness is limited to computer science, unfortunately, because it's closed at the world itself. And this means, uh, I mean that so this is this means that uh, functional programming language is good at. A symbol transform, a transformation of symbol sequences. So, uh, SMSHAP is good at uh, writing a compiler. So, uh, <laughs> so someone said that uh, a typical application of uh, a standard MM is a compiler of standard MM. <laughs> anyway, SMSHAP is much better than C at writing a compiler, but at writing an application uh, which uh, all the other people want. C is much better than shop, unfortunately, because it requires the interaction with the underlying, underlying system, for example, for, for graphics, databases, networks, and translating, and so on. So it's already practical for computer science, but unfortunately not. For industrial software development. So the term practical means that uh, I would like to make standard energy practical for both of them. So, so the other step to make uh, standard energy practical language in our sense uh, is that it is this uh, closeness of so why is it is so close? So because uh, it is built on an virtual machine. Uh, so ML is built on, uh, yeah, ML, uh, or, uh, as you know, ML is built on. It's a very function program language. Any function program language is built on top of laboratories. 
lambda calculus uh, is a a necessary of computation, but unfortunately, uh, the current computer architecture is based on two machines and and, 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 and therefore, around the calculus is far from the end of the thing. So, uh, we, uh, <laughs> we need to develop a uh, handout structure machine to interpret the lambda question. So, for example, it requires five different models. Uh, and second type of solution is automatic memory management uh, in another standard machine. Um, but all of which just imaginary features in the real world. So, so uh, in this sense, we, uh, to, for, this, uh, for this purpose, we need to develop uh, our own virtual machine that interprets the other expression. Uh, so uh, with, uh, for example, so such kind of abstraction machine should have the following functionality, uh, including, uh, so n, n bit, not that n bit, but n minus one bit. And it's a memory with that description and uh, times. Uh, type of the half in this country, so something like that. So they, these are totally different from the other thing. So the difference between a uh, virtual machine for lab and the real machine is the, uh, is the origin, is the source of uh, the difficulties uh, of interacting with each other. So the main purpose of our development is to exit from VM. So the best approach I believe is to uh, exit from VM and have a total inter interoperation with the native language of the underlying system. Uh, this means uh, C. Uh, C is a uh, right, that is the language to, uh, that, uh, that, that is used to write the operating system, almost all the operating system. So, uh, interpolation with C, a toll free interpolation with C, it should be the idea. So, so that, this is title, but the idea, idea in interoperability for us. Uh, so, uh, in, in other words, the most common VM is a native one. So the native machine. So, so this is actually an abstract machine for one part of the system, but so the native is most common we with the name. So just by targeting this native machine, we can naturally obtain a lot of benefits from it. So for example, it's so we can uh, seamlessly interpret with operating systems and its utilities are libraries, and we can uh, have full control of how uh, we can uh, draw the set of the app design the system where we search and gather and two separate operation, linking and gradually uh, migrate from other ways to new language and less effort. To our own, to develop our own. So I believe that this is either situation in any language, uh, not only in Sunshine, but any language. So the goal of Sunshine is a very simple one uh, making everything native without elaborating our own things. So uh, this means that. Uh, 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 gener so we generate native code in a na native code in a native object file form, similar to C. And uh, we store all of the data in memory in native representation uh, without using our own. And we use native threads on multiple CPUs directly as provided uh, by uh, operating system. And uh, our language. Uh, must be built with a total free for function interface. So, uh, but to, to achieve these goals, uh, even to achieve these goals, we 
can't lose any fish that starts as an ML. So because we want standard ML, we want to use standard ML with system. So without sacrificing any feature standard ML uh, is a uh, very essential part of our development. Uh, including uh, the such feature includes uh, for more payment and higher functions. <laughs> uh, automatic automatic memory management. Have no also no question. So what's in this? We have been developing compilation and implementation techniques in order not to develop our own judge and code organization. So uh, actually uh, at the beginning of the development of SMA shop. We used larger machines. Until version 2.3 in 2007, SM Sharp has its own VM of its runtime system. And the SM Sharp compiler generates the virtual instruction sequence of that VM. Uh, this is because uh, so developing a VM is uh, easy, relatively easy. I mean, uh, well established. Okay? Uh, Compared to develop uh, new technique with that VM. So, uh, so implementing VM is quite easy, uh, very sufficient. We can realize any uh, imaginary instructions with as a VM. So, we can uh, realize what we hope as, as, as soon as possible. So, implementing a compiler targeted to VM is also easy. So, our hope has a very easy. So, this is the main reason. Uh, to uh, use VM at that time. So uh, the VMs we have made was a nice pilot for us, that just a, but, but just a pilot. It was, yeah, uh, so uh, through the, these experienced VMs, we have got many understandings about the hope. And, and we can construct another strategy to uh, achieve uh, our goal. And, and, and during this, this uh, process, we, uh, we were aware of the fact that uh, we was not a goal for us. So, but this experience it, uh, was, was very good for us. We have finally found a path to go without VMs, uh, thanks to VMs. And this is a reason why. <laughs> so I could go to PhD, but uh, anyway. So uh, after that, we've been. So after uh, the path is established, we've been operating uh, VM rated networks in order to avoid making our own VM. So uh, let me introduce the interoperability of SM Sharp. So by using SM Sharp for function interface, SM Sharp can call the C function, and C functions can call back SM Sharp function. And, and not only uh, call and call back, uh, SMS sharp uh, and C code can share the same data structure because they are uh, uh, main, they, they are maintaining the same representation data. So just by declaring C function by import construct uh, like this, uh, here is the name of the function, C function, and the type of C function, and then we we'll obtain now, uh, function pointer of type of function, functional type of SMA shot. And uh, you can use C function like as SMA shot function. So thanks to this SMA shot, you can realize what people really want to do, I think, <laughs> interacting with the system through its device, building tons of uh, existing model, existing software resources, um, dealing with machine native features such as multiple CPUs. And uh, scale to a large data software project. So, we a lot of expertise in this technique, long period of consulting time. So, uh, just a user can do uh, without any expertise uh, of the compiler developer and it done. So, exactly. So, let's, let's start with Hello World example. So we have put 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 s function in the standard C library, which prints the given string to the standard library. So the put function uh, takes a string value and returns an integer. So uh, that is all. 
and you can see bunch of fruits in a series of rock. So uh, we give this string to that function and then uh, compile it. A compile selection program uh, with type C function uh, of the selection compile. Then uh, it generates all the all and single bit C compile. And then uh, use the same sharp compile, same sharp command as a link. So uh, specify the uh, SMI file, SMI is an interface file uh, of the uh, SML file, the same name. And the interface file, by specifying interface file, SML sharp command uh, works as a link. So this this command links how the all generated by this, this command to an executable file name the result. And executed the result. Then we got the message from our map. So next, uh, so uh, next example is uh, you can print, you, you can input print, you can use print in the If you want print, use print. print. Yeah. Well, it's simple. So uh, it's free. And print. And uh, print has a uh, 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 much of the uh, value of the number of arguments. And this uh, three fields uh, means that this part. The first argument uh, should be string. And uh, uh, the second uh, and third or fourth arguments are uh, uh, the type of these arguments depends on the first argument of string, but we can specify the list of types of uh, these, these arguments. And uh, from by this input expression, print real function has, uh, has, has a function type of two arguments, string and real, and uh, in return. So, uh, we can call it uh, So, it's uh, not only standard C library, but also uh, your own library can be used in C Sharp. You can use your own C library. So, for example, it's Mersen Twist library, uh, which is developed by the original version of the Mersen Twist library language and uh, To import it, uh, you, you, you can, to, to, to import it, you specify the name of the function and the type of function like this. You can import target to make similar. Next example is Colin Carl. So, can you read this? <laughs> this is just for entertainment, but uh, this function takes a pointer to function, which takes a pointer to function. <laughs> so, so, so this, anyway, this function takes a pointer to function. Right? So, and, uh, and in contrast, this function returns a function. Uh, so uh, you can uh, import uh, such kind of C function like this. So uh, this function takes the function as an argument and uh, give an SMS of function as a program function to C function. The next example is uh, sorting. Uh, uh, we are, uh, we are, we are, we are is a type of uh, floating point number. And floating point number array is by C function, uh, Q source function, uh, which is a, it's a part of standard C function. Library. So, uh, SML sharp maintains the same data representation as C, so uh, making a real array in SML sharp and pass it to the C function, and C function can uh, modify it and uh, return it. Our to the five essential programs uh, like this. So the input Q sort value function uh, like this, and uh, making a array uh, in the essential and uh, set this array to C function. 
So the next example is polymorphic C function. The key sort function is actually a polymorphic function because uh, it takes arbitrary type of point as an as an arc. And uh, the, the, the information of L uh, is given as a second as second. You, you can import this the polymorphic the polymorphic characteristics. Uh, you, you can you can keep this polymorphic characteristic in the shell. So then and the next example is podic thread. We don't have any construct for multiplicating, but you can import any function may that may create uh, threads. So that without any specific ceremony, you can import if it create uh, in an ordinary manner. And so even spawn function is user defined in the shell. And the next text example is massive threads. Massive thread is a library uh, capable of M N threading with, with the set of the scaling stretch schedule developed by Tower. Uh, he is a professor of the university. But uh, so by importing it, you can create millions of threads on massive threads in a set shot like this. This. Uh, this is a power of Fibonacci function, which generally uh, I can use it. That for Fibonacci. So we have more realistic examples uh, with collaborations with our graduate students and uh, software engineers in, in software companies. For example, the relational database support. Uh, which is uh, another key feature of the uh, shaft, but is built on top of this interval data uh, by importing so kind of large this one data. And uh, another example is functional animation composition by using OpenGL library, uh, which we often often use this example for uh, lectures to teach functional programming. Uh, as a great student, not only as a great student, but as a great student. So uh, we developed a uh, web application server in the same shop by using HTTP uh, server library. And on top of it, we uh, make an ERP, ERP system and interactive yeah, resource planning system uh, as an industrial application. So uh, to achieve to uh, to realize this kind of interoperability and the flexible foreign functional interface, uh, there there were uh, several obstacles uh, to uh, to it. Uh, the major ones are the following. Uh, one is uh, maintaining native data representation. Even in a polymorphic code, the polymorphic is a keyword of these obstacles. Uh, yeah, uh, SMSHAP is a statically typed language. So uh, if there is no polymorphism, uh, it, it is quite similar to C language. So there's no about the data representation, but we have polymorphic code. So uh, maintaining native data representation is quite hard. And uh, the second is, uh, combine polymorphic function with uh, with uh, appropriate point convention. So polymorphic function uh, is has a polymorphic behavior as it may. So uh, it is difficult to decide how the polymorphic function is called. So uh, so this is the program of point convention. I, uh, I also call it. So, um, anyway, that third program is um, related to garbage collection, and which must be non voting and not So, uh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what? I will talk about uh, these problems, how to overcome these problems. And so how we overcome these problems for each topic. So we have about 30 minutes. 
the first first topic is for most the, the, the data equalization uh, main of uh, native code. So in the same shop, we have a lot of functions uh, like this. So the deep function takes an arbitrary type, and we can the pair of x of arbitrary type. Uh, pair is a data structure like uh, structure in C language, uh, which is a sequence of which which uh, occupy the sequence of memory, and uh, the, the the order is. Uh, specified by this, one, this one. and the next one is the second, uh, which takes a pair uh, of arbitrary types and return the second uh, element of that pair. This is, uh, this is the promoted function of type like this. So, uh, so we, our language has uh, resolute and separate compilation, so we don't uh, use. The whole program, not whole program analysis, so we can we cannot determine what type of x and y z are in other situations. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> they must be compiled in so uh, they must be compiled in so that is capable of handling any type of values. So this function should be compiled into native code, which have uh, capability of handling any type of values, but what is the capability of handling any type of values? So uh, I think that this is a, this is a concept of this function. So uh, you all of, all of almost all of you already know that there is a popular approach. Uh, which is uh, sacrificing uh, uh, least significant risk to attack. So, uh, so any data is located in memory, and as an optimization for types that can be made to more than one point, a value is evident with one type. So uh, every data, every body in each of uh, six bits in six bit architecture in this uh, strategy. So, and then this significant will indicate that whether or not this is point. So, the uh, integer uh, is uh, has a has, has 64 bits per inch, but it is one bit is dedicated to time. So, uh, we can only, we can use only six, six, 63 bits. And uh, in chart type, uh, it is a uh, eight bit integer type. Uh, in, so the chart is eight bit integer, but uh, all of the values must be of six four bit. So uh, chart type, uh, the value of a value of chart type uh, output uh, in in a memory of uh, six four bit and use only use uh, eight bit portion for it. And uh, the, the, uh, the rest of the rest uh, of uh, the storage is at least. So, so this is this is popular. Uh, this is uh, very uh, commonly used approach, but uh, uh, yeah, commonly approach. And under this strategy, the polymorphism is very clear and very easily implemented. <laughs> no. So, because uh, any pair, so regardless of its type, a pair always possible to find. So, we can embed the index of uh, one and two uh, in, the, uh, in, in the destination code without any knowledge, without any analysis. But we are interested in native data representation, uh, which is the uh, data representation and alignment that should be supposed directly. So uh, we can't uh, dedicate no, any bit for metal types. And this side is body, depending on the type, data, like this. So uh, if uh, so, there is a um, pair of integer and wheel, its size should be 64 bytes. And uh, the second element of this couple uh, must be at eight bytes of set. And uh, on the other hand, uh, this is a top pair of string and integers. And uh, <coughs> different from this, I like, from, I like this. Uh, this uh, the first field of this 
pair must uh, must occupy eight bytes without uh, any time, and the second element is at eight of of the eight. Uh, how to realize polymorphism on top of any with representation? So let's ask consider for so this is some gym function. So uh, there are two questions. One is uh, how many bytes does Jeff need to output? The Jeff uh, function out is not pair, but the, how many bytes is needed for this pair? And the second question is uh, does there get the object to this pair contain a point that must be traced by garbage script? The answer is uh, it depends uh, on the type of X. So uh, this means that we therefore we need additional runtime information about data representation X, uh, which is not expressed uh, in the uh, user. <clears throat> so to realize uh, this, we design our data structure uh, like this before. So uh, the Payroll part of the data structure must be in the data representation of native code, as uh, similar to C. Uh, by adding the meta information uh, before and after the page, uh, uh, this, this meta information has the size of the page, page and uh, where visible, which means which indicates where the, the pointer is. And uh, this uh, bit means. Uh, the ice bit of that bit means that uh, ice word of the payroll layer is a pointer. So uh, in this figure uh, here is one. The ice bit is one, and, and, and therefore ice bit one of the payroll part is a pointer. <clears throat> so uh, under this design, the jet function must. Uh, return uh, data structure like this. So if the function takes an integer, and uh, it, it must return a, a data structure like this. So uh, this this pair doesn't contain any pointer. So the length return is uh, consists of only of them. And uh, if the function function uh, gives uh, uh, sorry, is given a a string and uh, that this function must be a pair of string uh, which uh, has a layer of bit of uh, two bond uh, as it listed in front of zero zero and zero and the first bit. The size of the record uh, must be 20 bond. Uh, in contrast to this example, this uh, this uh, this situation, this function in this situation, this function must be a data structure. So, uh, solution by type of compilation uh, is our solution uh, to realize the data and uh, native data representation. Uh, wait for more minutes. So uh, that objective comparison is used. So this is a this is a very uh, popular technique in the shell, but uh, other kind of comparison is it. But anyway, so uh, in this strategy, we introduce a special type uh, that represents size and part of the type of, of that type of type type. And uh, introduce the extra argument uh, for the polymorphic function. And uh, extra, extra, uh, its counterpart is added to uh, function application. So, well, 
and time is different. Yeah. So I like to skip some slides, but hey, anyway, so this is an example of it for collection. But uh, so this is a jet example, and there is two calls of the jet function. This is uh, two instantiation of the holographic jet function. One is uh, for it, and another one is for the string. And uh, the type of the comparison uh, introduces additional parameters for size and type of uh, the instance type like this and uh, the size of it is a type of size of it and therefore compiler can generate the value unique value of that this type so uh, compiler generate code from type in this uh, scenario and then and therefore finally we obtain this uh, form the code with uh, the compiler generate uh, the type specific information like this and the polymorphic function uses the type specific information to compute the layers of uh, 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 So uh, the, this uh, this comparison technique so this is the first problem. Now let's go to the next problem. And uh, next problem is about uh, so what this is. So this x is a binary, but it's type with alpha. It's under in some certain type, so we cannot determine statically what alpha is. So if alpha is in X must be a general register, but if, if alpha is real, X is a protein point number register, but alpha is a pointer, and X is not a register, but a variable, okay? This is structure as a part of root set. So uh, it's a point flash, it's not a storage, but that such, such kind of storage, it doesn't exist in native, uh, in real machine. So we need to compile out uh, this kind of bias into native code. <clears throat> so our strategy is uh, this is this is a solution for what's so far and <laughs> I went to skip it. And our strategy is uh, to use memory just uh, as an arbitrary uh, as a generic strategy for arbitrary type of data. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, this kind of uh, Variable is a point because it is instant size. And uh, if, if needed, uh, we perform boxing uh, and unboxing uh, according to its necessity. So, <clears throat> well, I'd like to skip this one uh, due to time limitation. <laughs> uh, our solution is dynamic version of box D. So, uh, so I can't skip this slide, but uh, in this function, uh, we call Z of the uh, function into two int with an integer argument. And uh, from this call site, G must be in a, a function of integer to integer. But actually, uh, there's a possibility of uh, G. Uh, as a polymorphic, as an instance of polymorphic function. So the uh, actual body of G is not a function, not into it. So to, to avoid this possibility, we add a dynamic check uh, whether or not G is polymorphic or not. So but, but like this. If G is polymorphic, we do so we perform for thing and I call it and the return values uh, unbox and the return value. <clears throat> so to uh, to implement this strategy, we uh, introduce the notion of uh, specific uh, core information, generic core information, and the weighted front front into the function process. Uh, rigid shrug is the key item of uh, 
this branch, the need boxing implemented is implemented as a uh, uh, reference, not this weighted flag. Weighted flag indicates that uh, indicates whether or not uh, all of the type instances of this function share the same box definition. For example, uh, this function uh, takes an integer and returns an integer is weighted because it's not And this function uh, is not weighted because alpha uh, can be integer or can be string, and therefore in any instance of this function does not share uh, the same box definition. But, but uh, in contrast, swap, swap function, which takes a uh, pair of arbitrary types and which has a type pair of arbitrary types, is weighted because, regardless of uh, the type instances, it takes a pointer and returns a pointer. So, by using it, uh, the call side uh, of uh, function application is compiled like this. Uh, the first one, only first one, is compiled into the dynamic branch because uh, the, this ID, uh, uh, the type of this ID is into to it, and which is possible, which has the possibility of accepting an uh, instance of a model function. But uh, in contrast, Japan's uh, polymorphic has polymorphic type as call site, and therefore uh, different swap functions uh, uh, in generic conventions. So with uh, without branching, we can call it uh, in generic convention like this. And, and, and uh, on the other hand, in the other holy site, site. Uh, on the other hand, in, in the definition of some polymorphic functions, uh, we uh, this generate two versions of functions and uh, compute the weighted flag and for an organized uh, function project. Uh, it works, but uh, we found that it is not optimal uh, actually. So it works. So in, this means that we have not found any serious degeneration, and we have like about uh, degeneration. But this is the first implementation of uh, what X for half is, and therefore we don't uh, we don't have any counter -trend. We don't uh, we, we don't uh, we can't make any comparison about it. So uh, after making another strategy, after implementing another strategy, we will make our evaluation of this. So we have found the point of consistencies. Uh, so we decide we uh, we conclude that this is not optimal. So uh, there is a three point of our observation, but uh, as a summary, uh, this comparison strategy uh, is inconsistent with an intuition of the grammar. So, for example, uh, eliminating polymorphism does not always contribute to the cost and performance. It's not uh, it's it's not always the optimization, but this is inconsistent with intuition of the grammar. Another approach is about in progress, and I'd like to skip it. So, uh, point convention, so the point this, this trial is about point convention against uh, C functions uh, in sense of point convention. And the final, this is the last topic uh, of our story is garbage. But from the perspective, from the perspective of the interoperability. So, uh, <clears throat> as you know, garbage collection is a key technology uh, for automatic memory management. So, memory management is very effective and careful. So therefore, should be eliminated, should be, should be automated. And uh, actually, functional, functional language is uh, an archaic category of decisions. John McCarthy makes uh, But on the other hand, memory is. Uh, inherent to inherent to inherent to central mechanism computation. So uh, management managing memory in our own way would interfere uh, with the system and interfere with interoperability. So uh, we need to be careful uh, of making it uh, from the perspective of interoperability, similar to data representations of way 
favorable management must be natural in the sense of C. So uh, in this sense, uh, this algorithm must be must have the point three properties. First one is non-moving in the and memo in mouse logic. See, never move by itself. So this is a source of a lot of benefits, uh, like uh deep sharing, uh search utilization, value reduction, and like that. The second one is unobtrusive. Uh, so this is does not disturb any mutable threats. So do not stop the world. Uh, this is must be proceeded uh, only after mutable convenience and other collaborative parts of the data. We we've stopped the world. Uh, the target execution is stopped. That's why some kind of sequentiality is introduced, and the uh, degree of power is transferred. So, uh, this last one is independence of the underlying system. So, we are not professional systems, though, but we are professional functional program language. So, uh, we are not a professional system developer. So, uh, it is infeasible for us to reinvent resource management or set schedules every time hardware and process that evolves. So, uh, <coughs> So, uh, in this, so from these properties, uh, we obtain another benefit from these properties. So, so this, this is uh, avoiding right? this is this benefit is uh, for power computation. So, uh, so enjoy the multiple performance, the multiple process without disturbing uh, thread schedule in the operating system by government. So yeah, this means that export we can export the set of the other So uh, <coughs> as I mentioned, actually support this uh, uh, thing before. I must be seen before for the underlying first schedule. So uh, <coughs> we can use uh, a lot of threads in SMS with the support of system program. Uh, research, system programming, research, with compilation. So that is uh, so. Let us let me briefly introduce the SM sharp G sheet. So SM sharp G sheet is normal in power and concurrent. SM sharp G sheet method is uh, concurrent power without any dedicated purpose. And independent from stress feature implementation. So we can uh, uh, maintain us and develop our own language runtime system independent from the development of thread schedule. And it, uh, it is our vaccine for load balancing. Then the <clears throat> so this garbage version technique is constructed. On top of the combination of very known uh, three techniques. One is your source of snapshot, and the second one is uh, slowly by time. And the third one is uh, LDLJ. Uh, well, uh, five minutes to finish. Uh, so uh, we, I'd like to skip several slides. Uh, about the data of the garbage version algorithm. And this is a paper organization, uh, which is uh, three, uh, uh, which consists of uh, uh, three parts, the uh, three three data sheets, next is three data sheets. And uh, in this is uh, the minimum structure of that next structure in the next segment. A uh, segment uh, is a uh, kind of array of uh, dots uh, related to uh, people checks. Uh, for each cell, there is there are two bit tracks and one boundary, and one and segment it has a boundary pointer to save uh, a position, not uh, allocation point. And third arena uh, forms an array of and allocation blocks. 
and uh, it has the location point uh, and, and allocation is done by advancing this point uh, to the next row uh, through zero in, through the location with itself. And so the zero bit is free. Uh, doesn't use for any any doesn't use for any object. So it's free. So uh, allocation point advance to the next framework. Uh, for application. So uh, we use US snapshot uh, for our concurrency. Uh, so because this is concurrent garbage version algorithm, so the, the object producer may change during tracing. So uh, before tracing, before starting the garbage production, we take the snapshot and use a way. And in, in US, also, so in, even by US snapshot, there is an obstacle uh, which can't be solved by US instructions. So, uh, this, uh, which is uh, just, which is the program to save the worst things, but we did it at the same time. We can't uh, save the worst of all, all things at the same time. This is impossible. But actually, uh, there's a time lag between uh between these operations and to overcome to reconcile the gap we use the value of the driving views to sooting to move the future of those so uh to, this is the uh hand shaking project uh, of our garbage version algorithm uh, by some trigger uh the first signal is uh Set to another thread by one thread, and uh, by uh, exchanging the signal uh, between two threads, and the garbage process uh, proceeds. So uh, we don't have any time, so we have only two minutes. <laughs> so the, the, the rest of the is right. Uh, ask it. And uh, this is the performance and scale, the graph of scalability. We have we achieved uh, kind of, some kind of idea of scalability. But anyway, I will. Um, this is a, the, the end of my talk. It's it, just a summary. So, uh, the, uh, the, I, so, what I'd like to say today is uh, the message that elaborating we are very techniques in order to avoid it. <laughs> it should be interesting, and uh, let's start to develop. Okay. Thank you for listening. Thank you.